Hello guys, this is Tranquility Eden and thank you for checking out this video. So this is episode 5 of the Building with Tranquility series. In episode 4 we continued work on the surrounding to the pool in the centre and in this episode we're going to extend the deck, the floor of the base out across the water and coming onto the land. Enjoy! Well, hello everyone, another day of building on the sunny ingot server. So last time I uh, was working on this, I had just finished this pool. Uh, the job today is to start extending the pool out. Um, well, extending the uh, ceilings, the, these uh, pillars that make up uh, the pool extending it out um, to create the rest of the build on to be honest um, so first thing I'm going to do oh, people dotted all over take some visitors to the site um, uh, go and grab some more pillars need some metal pillars Oh, actually, no, I need some wooden pillars, is what I need. Uh, let's. What do I not need? Mm, I don't need those. And. What else do I not need? I don't need those. And that. And. heavy for you. Let's jump in you then. Right, so I need to get um, the best use out of my tech pillars. I don't want to put a tech pillar every pillar, so I don't want to say snap a tech pillar here and then another one and then another one it's um, using too many pillars and I don't need to use that many to be honest so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go every other pillar so first I'm going to snap a um, wooden one and then I'm going to snap, snap a tech pillar to the wooden one like so I can then remove the wooden one I'll remove them all at the end so I'm going to go around the whole build um, doing that So, continuing to go out. Uh, thank you everyone, by the way, for the kind comments that I've been getting um, in the comments of the video. Um, I really do appreciate those comments, everyone. So, uh, thank you very much for, uh, for those. Now, see, I cannot snap a pillar to there. And the way you solve that is just putting a pillar on top of that one and I should be able to snap to that like so. Now for this one I think I'm going to have to remove these ceilings first because it will not snap properly unless you do. Put one on top and then snap. Oh, that's not that Titanosaur again, is it? Whoa. Looks like it's a, another visitor. Next one. And again, I'm going to have to raise it up. Right, so there we go. That's one ring done. Now I can play around a little bit with the um, ceilings but I'll get rid of all of these wooden foundations first So 
So is that all of them? Looks like it. Right. I'm gonna just turn the ones that I have, the wood I brought from that back into these. Right. Do either of you have any metal pillars? Not you. Right, I'm gonna have to go and get some. So I've got plenty of pillars. Um, I'm going to take some of these, and some of these. It overload me, it does. Right. Right, let's start. Uh, so I need a metal pillar on top of all of these. So I haven't really saved any um, materials here by, uh, well, in, uh, any structures, I should say, from the structure count by putting these. Uh, by leaving the gaps between, but I have saved on um, element. Um, I could just snap a pillar here and the ceiling would extend out. They don't have to um, reach up to the ceiling, but they do if you leave gaps like I'm leaving now. Now I am a little concerned here because I think this metal pillar is maybe touching the floor and that is going to cause problems with my build height and I think I may have to stomach the loss of one tech pillar here hmm. well I'm gonna have to because that is definitely going to be count as touching so if I used this metal pillar here, the problem I would have is it's touching the floor and I would only get um, 10 height, ten walls high building height here, uh, whereas all the others are going to have 14. So I'm going to have to do that, which is annoying because it means I need an extra um, tech pillar made. But it is what it is, I cannot change it now. Right, let's place some ceilings. Right, there we go. So, I didn't mean to jump off there. So, what pattern am I going to have? I think I'm going to have. Um, so, first of all, I've got to do this all the way around. Get rid of all of the little gaps. Right, now, going out over the pillars, I'm going to go in metal, like so. Or am I? No, in fact, I'm going to go in stone. Now, the reason why I'm going to go in stone, I'll show you. Because if I go in metal, um, stone sits above metal. Um, due to its thickness. So if I go with these in stone, like so,
so. Now when I place the metal in between to fill the gap, you'll see it sits underneath the stone. If you do it the other way around, then it, the, the stone is going to sit on top of the metal and you won't be able, you won't be able to see the, the metal lines coming out from the middle. So that's going to go like so. Whoa. See how useful those anglers are? Uh, really useful for building, for lighting a build. But they only tend to light like structures. So the fact that I'm now putting structures here means that I get the benefit of the light from them. Whereas if there were no structures, they wouldn't light the natural area. Um, I don't understand why, but if that's the way it is. So I'm just going to go around repeating the same pattern. Ah, now this happens sometimes. This, what's happening here is the these two ceilings, the center of these two ceilings that should overlap are too close together and it will not allow you to play, but place both because they're too close together. Now there's a couple of ways of fixing this, none of them are ideal though. Um, the most obvious one is to raise one of the ceilings slightly above the other um, and the other one is to lower one of the ceilings. Um, lowering is a lot more fiddly than raising. So I think I'm going to go for the option of raising one of the ceilings. Um, oh, that's useful. More weight, more weight. Right, so. The way I would raise the pillar. Um, by a fraction, we only want an, a, a, a tiny fraction of a, a raise. So the way I do this, I'm just going to use one official after all. Let's go and use some. Wooden pillars for this. This actually happens quite often in my builds when we've got, oh, excuse me, so I'm going to raise this one um, and leave the other one, that one, at the lower height. So let's start by placing a ceiling. And then we want to place a pillar in the middle of the ceiling. Now, what I'm looking for here is I'm looking for the lowest, the lowest net point. It can be quite fiddly to find, but your best bet is to. You can quite often do it by if I place that one. Can you see the the? It's now offering me a, another position that's above it. So that is already the lowest position, the lowest pillar point. I'm just going to check that, place that below. Now what you'll see when I come round, get back out of the water, you'll see I'll be able to place another ceiling that's ever so slightly, I think it's like a, an eighth of a ceiling thickness above the existing one. See? So I can place that one um, and I can place this one here. So I'm going to place that there, then I'm going to remove both of these.
and the wooden pillar. Now I'm going to place this metal one and see we can now press place this one over the top. Now there is going to be that slight little height difference which is annoying um, but there's no real really no way around it to be honest um, when you get those situations where the ceilings are the center of the ceilings are too close to being in the same spot um, it will happen every time so there will be probably maybe four of those locations around this build they very rarely come in ones because this is a repeating design so here we've got another one that has to be done um, so once again I would have to raise this one by one So this time, it's offering me the lower position. So the one that I've placed is not the lower one, so I'm just going to take that. I don't actually, I don't think, have to make it, take it to the ground. In fact, I just need to... There'll be this interesting sort of vault area underneath the build. I wonder if they can... They only can store any tames under here, maybe tell you what, nights do last a long time on official servers, don't they? So there we go, they're slightly higher. Put that there. Remove. Remove. Now I could, probably could have done this with thatch. Thatch behaves very oddly, guys, and so I tend to avoid using thatch when building unless I'm using it for the, the odd behaviour. Um, it's quite, it just behaves differently to the other materials, so I tend to avoid using it if I possibly can. In the water. Oops, a dozing. This is looking good, isn't it? Now I could do this. Place that, make that stone and that stone. We would have like these metal arrowheads pointing straight at the center of the pool. But then I quite like having this metal ring just around the pool itself. Um, 
I think I'm going to stick with having the metal ring. Need some more metal ceilings though. I do hope I don't get attacked by anything because anyone who knows me in this game knows that I am absolutely awful at playing this game in any other way than building. Building, I understand, I just understand the mechanics of build, the building, but everything else, combat especially, I really don't, I just, I, I don't understand it and I am absolutely awful at it. I think we've got away quite well there with only one spot on the build. Two, no, it's two, wasn't it? Where I had to use the, the raised ceiling. This one, and then this, that one over there. I think I've, I've got away lightly there. Right. So that's that ring. The next job is going to be to repeat that process um, and take it out by another um, pillar. So that's episode five finished. Thank you so much for sticking through it this uh, to the end. And I look forward to releasing more videos on this. I'm aiming to try and do a daily update a daily video on this project um, and it should get a little more interesting as we finish the foundations and move on to the build above i'll see you then bye <laughs>